longer it takes you to name your brand, the longer it's going to take you to make money. So in this video, I'm going to show you the methods I've used with ChatGPT to name my clients' products that have made them hundreds of thousands of dollars, in some case, millions of dollars, and in the best cases, tens of millions of dollars over the last few years. The first step is to choose the right model for the job. This one is complicated and requires the GPT to do a lot of advanced reasoning. So based on your account type, choose the best advanced reasoning model available because there are so many factors that need to coalesce to make the perfect brand name for you. My recommended method to give context to the GPT is just to dictate to it. Let's do it. Click the microphone button here. It might seem awkward to you, but trust me, just going stream of consciousness about your business in the dictation feature will help you get the most complete original ideas from your brain into the GPT. The GPT will not generate a good result from you unless you give it your own original thoughts. So I'm just gonna make up a product right now and I'm gonna tell you how I go through it. So, hey chat GPT, I am the CEO and co-founder of a company that's creating a product for pickleball players. A problem that pickleball players experience when they're playing is that they sweat a lot and there's the danger of them being hit in the eyes by the ball and getting retinal damage or getting damage to their eyes. So I've developed a product that is a cool pair of sunglasses that has UV protection, it's very stylish and looks like a sports sunglasses and it helps wick sweat away from the player's eyes to help them be protected from sweat that distracts them and then dangers that are going to hurt their eye while they're playing pickleball. So chat GPT, what I need you to do is I need you to help me brainstorm the 15 best brand name ideas that are available on the internet that have not already been taken by another product that can embody these features and this benefit that I just told you about with my product. Now, as you can see, I just gave it basic context on my product, on its features, and I didn't tell it that much about it. And what I'm looking to do is get a starting place for me to work off of so that I can then bounce ideas off of the GPT for this particular product or service. In order for it to search the internet to see if this has been taken or not and see what names are available out there, and if you don't have deep research available on your account, then you can do web search and it can double check the web to make sure it's choosing names that are not already taken. Let's take a look at the results. Dink Guard, Court Shield, Paddle Shade, Rally Vision. These are all pretty generic. What's missing here is why this brand exists in the first place. We need to inject why into this brand and watch how the results transform from generic names that just describe what the product is in a logical way to ones that connect emotionally. Now it's time to spill your guts out to the AI. Hey ChatGPT, I need to imbue my mission and my why and my story into the brand name to give this brand an emotional appeal. And so I'm gonna describe that to you right now. And after I describe it to you, I'd like you to go back out there on the internet and search. And I'd like you to think deeply about brand names that are going to not only capture the logical appeal you've already provided me with and combine that with my why and my heart and soul I'm about to tell you about. So the reason why I created this company is one year ago, my mom and I, we play pickleball five times a week. It's how we stay connected and we have a blast. We were playing pickleball and the opposing team hit the pickleball really hard and hit my mom right in the eye and it connected directly with her retina, and she actually got permanent eye damage in the process. Not only did that prevent her from being able to play pickleball properly, but it also impacted her entire life, her ability to read, her ability to see clearly, her ability to do various cooking tasks, and it impacted her lifestyle significantly. She's recovering now, which is good, but that was a huge hit to us connecting with each other, to her lifestyle, and it could have gotten even more serious. We were lucky. And so the reason why I'm creating this product is to keep people safe when they're playing the sport so that they can live healthy lives, so that they can connect with each other like I've connected with my mom. And we want to ensure that everybody's eyes are healthy because I've realized in the process how important great vision is. For my mom to be able to see her grandkids, for her to be able to connect with her friends, for her to be able to stay healthy and play sports, 
your eyes are one of the most valuable assets you have as a person. And this company is all about protecting that asset so that we can all connect with each other better. Let the GPT cook. Okay, let's see what the results are like and see whether they're better. It tells me the logic of how it filtered and Kinsight, KinGuard, RallyBond, iBond, Vision Bridge, Family Focus. Oh, it still didn't nail my brand name. Chat GPT is garbage. Guys, you got to follow the process and you have to lead the GPT toward the right result. So it now understands the logic appeal of this brand and now understands the emotional appeal of this brand and it has now researched it twice. So how do we polish this thing off and get an actually good brand name? And so at this point is you have to use the pro model to solve the problem. So what you're going to do is get a pro account of ChatGPT. It's taken you as far as you can go right here. And then you're gonna ask the pro model to come up with an actual brand name for you that's actually going to work. Check this out. Hey, ChatGPT03 Pro. Take a look at all of the context I provided earlier in chat and come up with 15 to 25 viable brand names for me for this particular brand. Can you go find a single word, then eyewear, or a single word, and then vision that will encapsulate the why, the how, and the what of this brand and give me a result that is relatively available on the internet? Watch the difference. So now let's see what the pro model came up with. Notice how it actually understood the complexity of the task that we asked it to do. Preserve eyewear, way better than the previous options. Embrace eyewear, lighthouse eyewear. These are so much better. Bond vision, haven vision, vital eyewear, harbor eyewear. Come on, it's coming up with some decent names here. Beacon vision, I like that one a lot. Now that we have some viable options here, we need to do a final check that they're actually usable in the real world. Search will not be sufficient to do this. You'll need to do a deep research. So go ahead and turn off search and enable deep research. Once you've enabled deep research, it's important that you give context. Okay, so I like a lot of the brand names that you gave me here, GPT. I'm gonna rattle off my favorite ones to you right now, and I want you to do a deep research on each of them to ensure that they are available across different uh, website domains, that they're available across various social media platforms, and that they're available across trademarking, especially United States trademarking. And so Preserve Eyewear is on the list. Embrace Eyewear is on the list. Bond Vision, Haven Vision, Vital Eyewear, and let's put Beacon Vision on the list. I'd like you to fully research these and ensure their availability, and then give me a consolidated table in terms of which names are the most viable from an availability and legal standpoint across all of the different factors I just highlighted. And here's the comparison table. Out of all these brand name options, the only options that are fully available across all vectors are Preserve Eyewear as well as Vital Eyewear. Out of these two brand names, I like Preserve uh, because it has the, the word serve in it. And it also has the idea of preserving your vision, uh, which ties into the pickleball angle for this brand, as well as the protective aspects of the eyewear uh, for this brand. Vital Eyewear is also a really solid brand name, which is fully available out of these two. I think Vital Eyewear has the best ring to it and Preserve Eyewear is kind of the most on brand here. So I choose Preserve Eyewear as my number one option for this brand with Vital Eyewear being a backup option if need be. If this process was helpful to you and this video was helpful to you, let me know what was most helpful in the comments below. And if you'd like to book me for one-on-one -on -one consulting, Go to awalldigital.com. That's A W A L L digital.com. You can book me for one on one consulting on a 60 minute call, and I can help you with your marketing, media, branding, and AI strategy and needs. I've been doing this for a living for the past 20 years, and I'm here to help. You just go to my calendar, click book, and you'll instantly be on my calendar speaking with me within days about your company and your strategy.